everyone, it's your girl Vivi again, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I haven't been in front of the cameras, but here I am. So the reason I started this whole video, um, it's because my hair changed. I used to have burgundy hair, as you can see right over here. But now I have this silvery blue blondish going on here um, I'm not a professional everything I got was from the drugstore I watched so many videos on how to do this at home I got so many um, friends in the beauty industry that was like don't do it don't do it just wait just wait but of course I went ahead and did it very scary I was petrified but your girl did it your girl pulled it off <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you um, what I used um, and I have the products that I used here all right red is the hardest color red and black I want to say it's the hardest color that you can ever ever dream of taking off if you're doing it at home if the first thing I did was remove the burgundy color so all of that um the permanent hair color the semi-permanent hair color all of that hair um layers of colors that i've been putting on my hair for the past few years i removed it um because i didn't want to go straight into bleach right off the bat because again i i've had horrible experience with bleach not by me but by a professional um so i'm petrified of bleach if i can use all the other alternatives i would definitely use that before i use bleach so doing research and watching youtube i came across color oops this is by um i guess that is the the brand of it it's called oops hair color remover extra strength um this cost about $15, give or take, from um, at Walgreens, roughly around the same at CVS. Now, because, of course, everybody is at home doing their hair, um, supplies are very limited. So, I literally would go online, find my nearest three Walgreens, find my nearest two CVSs, and just kind of hop around to see which one had the product. Um, so... I did this and I have as you can see I have a lot of hair I mean yes granted it's short but it's it's a lot um, one bottle of this was enough for my whole hair so once I process this for 30 minutes um, it does have simple instruction everything that you need is in this box and I'm telling you it's the best 13 to 15 dollars that I've spent I will use this over and over again anytime I need to change my hair color um, before putting multiple layers of different hair colors. So this is absolutely I five stars, five stars for sure. Um, follow the instructions and um, and it will work. It will absolutely work. So I was at around here that, but more of a burgundy color and it literally stripped it to this orangey color so here is my process from getting burgundy faded hair to hopefully teal and pink hair first step i did was use color oops i threw up away the box but i used color oops hair color remover it smells bad i got it at walgreens it does smell pretty bad it smells like eggs but first application the hair feels healthy um it doesn't feel scrunchy or nothing um i'm just gonna let it air dry i'm not gonna comb it or anything um just because i don't want to break it um but it it removed a lot look it lifted a whole ton um i'm very happy with it it only cost me like 13 bucks at walgreens so i'm happy orangey color maybe a little bit lighter um 
So first try, stripped it completely out. Great. I did that one day. I let it air dry. I conditioned it. Um, I did buy the little um, argan oil deep conditioner packets that you find at CVS as well. Left it on there for about 10 minutes, rinsed it off. Great. After I removed the color, I decided not to mess with my hair and just leave it with the conditioner day three. What I did was I had some leftover um, argan oil semi-permanent and it was teal in a I think it was pure teal I literally had just a smidge from when I had dyed my daughter's hair blue um, and I was like well hey if my hair is halfway blonde let me just do half blue and half pink because the ultimate goal was to have pink hair now when I went to buy this color um oops I bought this black because it was the only thing in pink that I found. Now, this is the Splat Complete Kit Pink Fetish One Application Long Lasting Color. So I got this, of course. Needless to say, after I made my first purchase, I posted on Facebook, and one of my good friends, um, he's also, um, he's a cosmetologist, um, he said, V, stay away from that pink. I had a client who did the pink and spent well over hundreds of dollars to remove that pink. I said, okay, no problem. So, of course, thinking that I'm the genius, um, I wanted this pink hair color so bad that I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to dilute it with conditioner and everything is fine. So, I did the teal um, on my roots and then I did the pink at the very bottom. So I'm like, okay. So I did that. Um, this is what it looked like. And I was fine and dandy. Wonderful. Everything was going fine. So after I did that, I washed it off. Oh, well, guess what? Because the blue was sitting there and I, the blue, I diluted it with some conditioner because I didn't have enough for my whole head. So what it did was it toned my orange roots. The blue toned the, the roots and then the pink stayed on here. But it wasn't pink, it was a magenta color, which was the exact same color I've been using for the past three to four years. So that stayed there and I'm like, well, okay, whatever, wash it off. I kept it there for about a week because I had already, you know, I did a process. I processed my hair with the color remover plus I'm adding this. That magenta was on there, I washed my hair, I conditioned it, I left it alone. This is what it looks like. So I kept it that way, you know, fine, whatever, dandy, great. A week passed and I said, well, I'm gonna give it another shot. I bought more color oops and I removed it. Um, I removed as much as I could it did get um, a little bit lighter. Um, it went, I don't know how many levels it lifted, um, but it did fade off a little bit of that magenta. Now mind you, the blue is no longer existent because it was toning my orange hair. Um, so in reality, my second process of color oops was really the bottom of my hair, the ends, which was what was magenta. Um, I did it the first time, it lightened up. And I, you know, I, I wasn't giving up. I kept looking at videos. Um, and there was one video that I went, and I will link it down below because the products that she used absolutely work phenomenally. So I'll link that below um, if you want to bleach your hair. Because now, I'm on to the stage where the color oops isn't working, so now I have to bleach my hair, but where am I gonna find bleach at this time when Sally's is closed? So, I looked at, I watched her video at least three times, um, and she mentioned the L'Oreal Paris Feria Absolute Platinum. Now, this is a bleach. It lifts very much, I mean dark, I mean, it's, it, it lifts. 
So I bought all three, two at Walgreens and one at CVS. So I bought the bleach and what I did was I followed the instructions and I put it on my hair. Now, I bought everything that I needed to buy. I bought three of these platinum blondes. I bought the same brand, L'Oreal Feria, this pastel pink. It's called, it's Smoky Pastel, Smoky Pink. And I bought two of the same one, but instead of pink, it was Smoky Blue. I do the first process of this platinum. Now I know that if you add conditioner to the bleach mix, um, it will dilute it a little bit. This comes with a 30 volume developer already. So I knew that by adding the conditioner, it was gonna dilute it a little bit. So it wasn't gonna be as harsh. So that's what I did. I processed it. Um, I only processed it for 20 minutes. Yeah, I only processed it for 20 minutes and I removed it. I was scared, I, I just removed it. It did strip out more of the magenta from my hair. my hair. Now I let that be. Again, I put in my deep conditioner. Um, I washed it, I rinsed it, I put my deep conditioner. I let it go, I didn't put any heat, I didn't do nothing. I was whoosh, wild hair. But who cares, I'm at home. Next day, I go and I do this again, which is not recommended. If you process your hair with bleach, wait at least 10 to 14 days to redo it. But I wanted my pink hair. So, 24 hours later, I do this again. After watching many more videos, I see and I learn about this bleach bath never heard of that day in my life but i saw it that night so when i did a bleach um the bleach bath basically what it is is you have your mix of bleach you add a uh, shampoo and i added some more conditioner on there as well so of course it diluted a lot of my developer but i was okay with that so i did it this time I processed it for 30 minutes and I rinsed it off. Lord and behold, that red was so faded that it almost was the same color. It was, it was, I wanna say it was more of a like a whitish, reddish, pinkish. It was a blend and here's the picture. Once I got to that level, I said, this is good for me, I'm leaving it. Again, add a deep conditioner, deep conditioner, deep conditioner for about a week. After a week passed, I kept looking at my hair and I'm like, I'm either going to bleach it again or I'm going to do something drastic to this hair. Um, so I went in instead of bleaching it. I went to my smoky blue so when I mixed it I was very scared because it was so dark I'm like how is this smoky blue how does it go this light like it's super light it's a pastel color um, but when I mixed it it was very dark very dark so once I mixed it I applied it this is a permanent hair color I follow the directions everything is in here um, I put it on I I legit no lie I left it in my hair for an hour now you're not supposed to leave it for more than I think it's 30 minutes is the maximum um, but I left it there for an hour I got caught up watching a movie and I left it um, I went to go wash it and rinse it and when I rinsed it I was amazed with my results it was completely gone all of my red pink crazy colors were gone they were completely gone gone so what I'm assuming what happened was that the blue dye toned my orangey hair 
to level it out now I didn't look it didn't look like a silver right off the bat it didn't look like a blonde right off the bat but I wasn't orange and that's what I was looking for I was looking for something that wasn't gonna you know that was something that was gonna remove that ugly color from my hair and of course again Sally's isn't open I can't buy a toner and tone my hair so that this permanent hair dye in smoky blue toned my complete hair completely toned it so now I had this this beautiful silvery smoky color that I absolutely love and adore um, you can hardly see it on my hair but again it's not a hundred percent done like I'm pretty sure that in here well now that it's curly you can barely see it but I do have you know in here some areas are you see it and they're a little bit you know reddish or they're a little bit actually not reddish they're a little bit you know orangey um so it's not a hundred percent done but this is the color that turned out and I absolutely love it love it you can kind of see that in some areas are a little bit patchy but I can't complain I'm not expecting perf um, perfection when I'm doing this at home again I'm not a professional but I love my hair I love the color of my hair um, I love that it didn't get damaged I, I mean it's still smooth and soft um, in Amazon I did find this color cleanser it's a very dark blue silvery tone uh, what I do is I wash my hair I apply that for a few minutes and my ends kind of regain that tone again um, it smells amazing it leaves your hair super soft um, I have no complaints whatsoever and that's how I got my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope it brings you the information that you're looking for um, I hope that the products um, do help you and hopefully that you get to find them um, and use them so I'm just giving my personal opinion what works for me um, and what worked for me and I'm very happy with um, my my results now I am gonna keep this color for a while even when I'm back at work um, so yeah um, follow me on my Instagram which I will link down below and my TikTok to see some new crazy videos I've been doing while I've been quarantined at home and till next time Ciao.